Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, we are here for a pop-up reading about your specific person. Whoever you thought of when this video found you and you clicked on it, it's going to be about them. Essentially, I have broken it down into three different um, points, I guess you could say, three different points of what's going on with them. Point number one being their mental energy, where their mind keeps drifting off to when thinking about you, the dominant thoughts that they're going through concerning you and your connection. Then we have their current emotional stance, like where their emotions are towards you and your connection right now. And then over here, we have their intentions, any plans that they have towards you, what they want to happen in the near future, yada, 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 you get the gist, okay? So getting us started, we have the Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands clarifying each other. So this, there are a couple different messages that are coming through. One of them is very, very specific. Keep in mind, this is a general reading and we have thousands of viewers. So if it doesn't resonate with you, um, just listen to your intuition essentially and see where everything else fits. If it does or it doesn't, listen to your intuition. That's my point. But the first rather specific message that I'm getting from this set of cards right here is that it quite it's quite possible you recently have been in the spotlight in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you are a content creator. Maybe you are a public speaker of some kind. Maybe you work with this person and you've just been highlighted or like in the limelight lately. But there's something about your person potentially seeing you as a star, like in the public eye, for example, okay? There's a lot about public recognition coming through and your person seeing that, observing that, and highly, almost like fixating on that. Again, for some of you guys, um, you're a creator of some kind. Like you are a content creator and your person could literally be watching your videos or um, you're a musician and your person could literally be going to your shows and watching you perform. There's something about your person observing you and um, really kind of just they're really happy for you. It's almost like they're a cheerleader for you and they're excited about your newfound success and public recognition. Like they're super, super impressed by that. And I think that they're thinking about that quite a bit. Okay, that was just the first specific message. Another message that I'm getting from this is that like if that first scenario doesn't apply to you, just in general, your person is thinking about, the, they're just thinking more clearly about you and the connection, okay? Before... They might have been surrounded by some type of illusions or misunderstandings, and I think that they're starting to see things through a different lens now, and it's the correct lens this time, if that makes sense. Truth, clarity, and understanding, okay? And another thing I'm taking away is that this person would like to have a public conversation with you, so I don't know if it's been a while since you guys have seen each other or communicated or what the situation is there, but there's something about like almost like a public meetup that this person wants to have with you, such as going to get coffee, taking a walk in the park, going to a show together, something where it's not just going to be the two of you in a private setting, such as your own personal homes or something like that. This person would like to take you out to a public space to have a conversation with you about said recent revelations of truth and clarity that they've been going through. So your person is brainstorming, they're thinking about that. And on the flip side with that more specific message, um, which is interesting because normally I don't get two completely different messages from these cards, but again, it's a general reading and that does happen sometimes where there are specific messages for specific people. But anyway, the other side of this is that you are in the limelight, you are in the public eye and your person is super impressed by that and they're observing it and kind of fixating on that. Okay. Now over here for the emotional energy and what's going on, Hold on a second. I got to grab my cat, you guys. He's He's been like totally crazy today. Um, earlier on the live, that was insane. I don't know if you guys caught that live where he was just crying the whole time, but something's up with him. He has food and water and everything. He just is like extra craving my attention. It, if you're watching this shortly after it was released, it is like full moon energy right now. So maybe that's it. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, your person's 
current like emotional stance towards you is very interesting and I'm super excited for you, particularly if this is like a divine counterpart connection, simply because your person seems relatively at peace. It's not like they are pushing any heavy passionate energy or any heavy emotional energy. Like it's... Uh, it's almost like a lack of emotion, but in a good way. Your person is just feeling very, very at ease emotionally about this connection. They're not stressing. They're not obsessing. They're just very chill and peaceful about it. And they're also seeing that essentially as a new beginning for the connection itself. So it's quite interesting. I don't know if your person has been spending more time like in their prayers, in their meditations, doing introspections, um, maybe trying to be more mindful, but they're seeing this almost void and lack of emotional depth as a positive thing. Um, and that can also be like almost really important in divine counterpart connections, just because when we have that runner chaser energy going on, um, it's, uh, it's crazy, right? I don't even know what to say about that. It, it can be too intense. And it's only when the chaser stops chasing and the runner stops running that things can actually fall in line, come into balance, and then the two of you can come into union, okay? So if you do resonate with the Twin Flame label, this is definitely a great thumbs up because it seems like your person isn't wanting to run so much anymore. But in general, regardless of if you resonate with labels or not, it doesn't matter. This person is just very chill. Like they're, they're, they're not heavy in their emotional energy over you, but it's in a good way. Um, so if in the past they were angry or resentful or scared or fearful or anything like that about the connection, just think of it that way. Like your person isn't wanting to run away anymore. They seem very, very calm and emotionally they're feeling like they have been reborn in a way. Um, I'm even going to show you right here this is like a baby chick. I don't know if it's meant to be a swan or a duck. It looks like a duck or a swan, um, but it's almost like a rebirth energy. Like your person feels like they've been born again and that they're just seeing your connection and the way that they feel about you is brand new compared to anything that they've ever felt before, but in a really good way. Um, it's very calm, relaxed, and grounded. They're in a state of acceptance over what's going on in this connection. Again, they're not wanting to chase. They're not wanting to run. They're not wanting to push agendas. They're literally kind of just going with the flow and trusting in the process emotionally. So, And that's not to say that your person doesn't have love for you. It's just saying that their dominant emotional stance at this time is peace. And that's a beautiful thing, honestly. Now, over here, when it comes to their intentions, we have the Knight of Cups, the Hierophant, and Temperance. First of all, I will note that this is the only section that really has like zodiacs attached to it, which is interesting. We have Pisces, we have Taurus, and we have Sagittarius coming out. I'll roll the Astro Dice in a little bit for you guys as well. But um, it just really seems like your person does in fact want to come forward with an offering that involves love, okay? Again, it's not coming from a place of like obsession or fear or urgency or something like that. It's just that they feel like they're finally getting ready. And the interesting energy that I'm picking up on here is that it feels like your person thinks that this them bringing you a love offering is part of some kind of lesson that they were meant to learn in this connection. It's kind of odd. It's like they feel like it was almost divined that they would be the ones to come forward and make some type of a formal offering of love to you. This could be in the form of them asking you out on a date or asking you out to this public space to have a conversation. But regardless, it seems like your person sees this as part of the divine plan that they are the ones to make this move towards you in the future and they're in a state of acceptance over that clearly. Um, I also think that your person sees this connection as a like a learning lesson like the connect the connection itself has taught both of you a lot again we also have temperance so that could be further confirmation that this could be your twin for some of you out there also especially paired with the hierophant because when i look at the hierophant oftentimes i think of a mentor a teacher or somebody that is meant to be some type of a spiritual leader in the connection 
and the fact that we have these two side by side, it seems like your person is aware of that. They think that you have been like a great spiritual teacher, whether you've been consciously doing that or not. It seems like your person sees that this connection itself has taught both of you a lot of invaluable lessons, both on a spiritual level and a personal level, okay? So your person intends on coming in, probably talking about this a little bit and um, just making some type of an offering towards you in the future. Let's get a couple more Zodiac pulls out. We also have Capricorn coming out now. Ooh, that was a weird roll. Pisces, again, Pisces again, again. So definitely uh, you or your person could be Pisces or we are in Pisces season right now. So maybe this is a hint that the offering itself is coming up. Um, we have Aries coming out now. Pisces and Aries seasons are right next to each other, back to back. So maybe between now-ish and towards like um, the end of April, it could be possible, like or well, mid-April-ish. Uh, yeah, mid to end April. Sometime between now and the end of April, something could be happening in this connection, okay? We're going to do one more roll. And then we have Libra coming out. Okay, and this reading is meant to be timeless, by the way, so just don't worry about that. If you're finding this in, like, September or something like that, that is just fine. It's just, I have to point out timelines when I see them. I'm going to get some clarity cards and what's going on with the connection right now before we do some channeled messages. I'm going to keep this reading rather short today, you guys, rather short. I'm just going to get a couple. That one wanted to flip weirdly. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yep. Definitely. I can see that. I don't think your person wants to heavily focus on that, though. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. So maybe you guys have, like, a difference in religions or belief systems, or that has been a factor in the past. And maybe it's something that you two have been meant to work through and learn about in this lifetime. Take that as it resonates for your specific situation, of course. I'm going to get a couple more. Phoenix. That is weird because when this fell to the floor, I saw the word epiphany right here. And that is absolutely nothing like the word Phoenix. So I don't know what's up with that. That is very inter interesting, though. Epiphany. Maybe your person has, because we have that... Um, Ace of Swords energy. Maybe your person has been having some epiphanies, particularly if they are spending more time in prayer and meditation. They could be having some big wake-up calls. Phoenix, new phase and rekindle, renew and growth, changed mind, rise from the ashes. Yeah, yeah, your person definitely is wanting to like, and that is actually really hilarious because this is Phoenix energy. I said reborn, rebirth, and Phoenix energy is all about rebirth, rising from the ashes beginning anew you know what I mean and I think that your person wants that with this connection they want to have like a fresh start and a new beginning with you even the way that they're feeling about you and the way that they see you and the connection is through a completely different lens than ever before okay all right we also have poker face maybe your person also likes to play poker okay or they could be watching tarot readings or card readings about you Taking action, risks, and options, not showing hand, and gambling. I'm seeing this more as like taking a risk and taking a chance. Not necessarily like putting on a front or like wearing a mask. Simply because um, I'm just not seeing that. It seems like your person is focused on clarity, truth, and peace. Not getting overly stuck in their ego, if that makes sense. So I think that they are getting ready to take a risk and a chance with you. The Fool can also indicate that, like a spontaneous adventure, so to speak, like taking a chance, taking a risk, but feeling really good about that, not knowing where the path is going to take them, but choosing to embark on it anyway with excitement and thrill, okay? Let's get a couple more cards out real quick. This is from The Situation, Love Oracle Deck. That was recently just gifted to the channel by Deborah, I believe. So thank you again, Deborah. We have love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. So yeah, this person wants to reach out. You guys, I think, and it's also quite interesting. I, I, you know what, you guys, I just noticed a pattern and I have to like, I have to dive into that for you real quickly. We have Phoenix energy, um, 
coming on top of here, clarity and whatnot, it's like this is almost going on par with this section, this is going on par with this section, and this card is going on par with this section, and I didn't intend that. It came out organically, so that's interesting. I just had to point that out to you guys, but yeah, your person's planning on reaching out to you. Um, could literally be giving you a call in the near future to um, invite you out, invite you to a place to reconnect, to talk, to chat. Uh, but I really think that your person wants to see you in person. So the love call isn't necessarily going to be this romantic action or offering. It's going to be the thing that initiates this public conversation, if that makes sense. Like your person doesn't want to just call you, hang up and leave it at that. Your person would really like to see you in person from what I can see here. Maybe it's been a while since you guys have actually seen each other in person as well. Let's get a couple of love messages out from them now. What they would like to say to you if they could. Okay. Karma. Yeah, that's been a big thing. Both of you, I believe. Honestly, that's probably been for both of you that you've had to release some karma and that's funny because we can we talk it over? I think that you and your person separately have had to learn a lot of karmic lessons with karmics, okay? And I also want you to keep in mind that karmic connections slash what people usually say are third parties because usually third parties are karmic, karmics from my experience. Um, they can be both platonic and romantic. So even if your person wasn't involved with a, a romantic third party as in another person that they were romantically involved with, it could just be like a family member or a friend or a job or a mindset was getting in the way of this connection in the past. And likely on your end as well, I want you to be like totally honest with yourself right now. There have probably been some karmics on your end as well. Karmic lessons at the very least that you've had to learn and go through just because it's not like... When we have a spiritual awakening or we have a spiritual connection with somebody, it's never just one-sided. It's not like one person is messing up the entire time. There are always lessons to be learned, always on both sides. So that's just like formal acknowledgement that I think your person is aware of the fact that there have been lessons that both of you needed to learn throughout this experience. We're going to hop over to some more messages. This deck was actually just gifted by... Jeremy. So thank you again, Jeremy. This is a twin flame separation deck, but it can resonate with your situation even if you guys don't resonate with twin flame labels. But I have to point that out. It is a, it is my only official twin flame deck. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Okay. No, they didn't flip up right, so I'm not gonna take those. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep shuffling. I'm super picky about the way cards come out, you guys. I do not like to um I'm just picky about it. Plus I know that if I reshuffle it back in, like if it comes out weird and it doesn't feel right, if it's meant to, it will come back out again. That is the way I see it. Okay. Alright, we got these two cards coming out together. And it tells a bit of a story. Okay, first up we have sabotage. I messed up the good things in my life sometimes and damage. We are both hurting from this, okay? So there have definitely been some tough lessons that have gone on in this connection between the two of you. That's clear as day, all right? I think that both of you acknowledge this. Both of you have been struggling with this and that's part of why your person desires to bring truth and clarity into the situation because they're sick of the negative feelings, okay? I'm not seeing your person as currently feeling this because emotionally, they're very peaceful. Uh, I think that they've had a lot of their big revelations about what's gone down and that's why they're feeling more ready to come forward and talk about it because they want to hear your side of the perspective too. Like they want to hear what's gone on on your end of things as well. So essentially, but that's their way of formally acknowledging that there have been hard lessons learned in this connection and that they know that that's also happened for a reason and that they feel like both of you have been reborn throughout this. We're going to pull from the lover oracle now. This was recently gifted by Karen. So thank you, Karen. We're going to get a couple of these out. Yeah, your person's, your person's been struggling, I think. In the past, right now they're feeling very much peaceful and at ease. 
I wish I could be a different person. Yeah, I think that they are becoming that. It's almost like some of these cards that are coming out are things that they have like had revelations about in the not just not so distant past. Because right now, currently, emotionally, they're feeling very much at ease and at peace. Yeah. Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. Where are we going to put that? I'm just going to set that on top of there. Yeah. I mean, I think that that's part of what your person's been waking up to, essentially. And they're working on coming forward and moving away from that. They miss you. They really do miss you. I think that they're finally ready to take the final leap of faith. Yeah, because they can't let go of you. And I do think that you or your person, probably both of you, have tried to walk away from this connection in the past. And it just wasn't, it wasn't working. <laughs> it wasn't working. And so your person has been thinking about that a lot. Your person's really been spending a lot of time in self-reflection. That's all I can say. And you guys, I posted this on the community page, but I have like a huge song bag. This card made me think of that. I have a huge song bag that I used to shuffle from like for personal readings and stuff like that. And uh, there are like over 700 songs and message cards in that bag that I shuffle from. So if you guys would like me to start adding that to my readings, drop a comment down below and let me know. Like leave a little musical note or something like that. Because I'm thinking about bringing that bag into the readings and shuffling some out for all of these different love readings. Just because why not? Oftentimes, like if you've watched my channel before, I do have channeled songs come through quite a bit in my readings. But that would be like more of a manual pulling similarly to shuffling out cards. You know what I mean? Just saying. So if you'd like that, if you'd like more musical messages, let me know. Let me know down below. I don't want to hurt you. I send you messages through music. You're my sun, moon, and stars. Yeah, this person does feel like this connection is divine. Most definitely. And if the reading's resonating with you so far and you haven't already... Don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell because I go live about once a day and I do pull cards for the collective uh, and individuals when I go live. So if you ever want me to pull a card for you and your situation, maybe um, consider hitting that notification bell so you can join us on a live session sometime. We also have I Miss You, um, the song by the Rolling Stones is coming through mostly just the beat. I'm not going to lie. I'm not grabbing any lyrics from it. It's mostly the So I don't know. And that's kind of funny because I didn't even notice that came out. <laughs> that came out right under the musical thing. Okay. We also have fire sign coming out. So you or your person could definitely be a fire sign as well. All right, what next, you guys? What next? We're going to do tiles. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do tiles and some charms to give you further confirmation that this is, in fact, your reading. If you don't see your person's name or initials here, but the rest of the reading resonates, don't stress about it, you guys. Let it fly. Remember, this is general, so chances are it was meant for somebody else. Okay, cool. Person thinks you're super cool. Yeah, and that's funny because it's coming out right on top of that, too. Um, yeah, you might be in the spotlight, you guys. For some of you out there, you are in the spotlight. Maybe you're like a leader. You're taking on a leadership role with something and your person is like super duper impressed. Like you might be like a rule as in like you might be the leader. You might be in charge of something. You might be like a manager or somebody that's like in charge of a situation, a business owner, something. I hope I'm <laughs> something like that. Okay. Your person thinks you're really cool. They're really impressed by you. They're super impressed by your progress, particularly if you are like a content creator, a musician, or somebody that started from the ground up like an entrepreneur, that you created your own legacy for yourself. Your person is super impressed by that. Just so you know, we also have loon. Loons are a type of bird. They're actually the Minnesota state bird. If you're interested in that at all, I don't know. Maybe look it up, the meaning. I know in my feather deck, the loon, um, the message that comes with the loon card is that you are receiving messages in dream time. So pay attention to your dreams. Could be a note that your person is trying to communicate with you in your dreams. So pay attention to those. Okay. 
Yeah, because we also have the cat coming out here, which is like a psychic connection. Your person, uh, and I send you messages through music, your person might com be communicating with you in unorthodox ways, um, such as through dreams, through channeled songs, through random messages, or you'll be like walking by somebody on the street and they'll say something that just hits you in a weird way. And it's like a message that was meant to reach you from your person, okay? We have two leaves coming out here, that's interesting. That's making me think of the springtime. So maybe for some of you guys, there are gonna be some big changes coming in the springtime. I suppose it could also indicate the fall. Um, I'm not getting summer for whatever reason. So the spring or fall, something significant could be happening. We have an S and we also have an N. I think it's an N, maybe a Z, an N or a Z, doesn't matter, um, to add over here to these letters. And then we have this little like astrology charm. Oh my goodness, my cat. And maybe some of you guys own cats too because my cat has been going crazy throughout this reading and then we do have the cat charm. So maybe some of you guys, I don't know, Maybe somebody needs to go pay attention more to their cat or something. I don't know what to say, you guys. But um, yeah, you guys are just very deeply connected. I think your person formally acknowledges that this connection kind of goes beyond time and space, that there's something greater that is connecting the two of you together. Ah, that is my cat, just so you know. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on, you guys. Oh, that just, I'm not even gonna lie, that just frustrated the heck out of me, but we're good. We're good. I'll fix it. It could have been far worse. Like, to be honest with you, when his claws got stuck, he could have, like, torn down my entire setup here. So, we're good. Could be worse. It's just a little messy now. Anyway, guys, let's get a couple messages out from the universe for you. We're going to get a couple. Ah, 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 ah. Nope. No, 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 no. No more chaos. No more chaos. We've had enough of that in this reading. I don't know what else to say. Okay, I have a couple of specific decks I'm trying to pull from you guys, so bear with me as I get those out for you. All right, first up, we're going to use the messages of Cosmic Oracle deck, Cosmic Messages. I hope you're all having a fantabulous day or night, by the way. If you guys feel like it, I kind of want to start a new trend on my channel where it's like if you have a positive message of encouragement or a really inspiring quote, will you please share that down below in the comments for the collective? Because I think that would be really cool if like for every video we say some encouraging things to one another. So anybody who's having a tough day or is really struggling or something like that can scroll through the comments and see some like words of encouragement or positive affirmations or something like that. Do you guys get what I mean? I don't know. If you feel called to, if you have something inspiring or positive to share with the collective, don't be afraid to do so down in the comments. I think that would be a really awesome way we could help uplift each other's energy and whatnot. Your first message from the universe is, you must forgive if you want to be free. Do it for yourself. Someone is in need of your love. Offer it to them. And... If you are feeling stuck in any area of your life, whether it is in a job, a relationship, or a situation, ask yourself, what is stopping me from leaving? Yes, leaving is scary, but sometimes it is the right step to take. Be brave. You, We are right beside you. So your spiritual team wants you to know that your, like your guides and your angels, they're there to protect you. They are there to help you along this journey, okay? So don't be afraid to ask for help and also just have faith that they're always with you leading you towards your destination essentially so anyway guys i'm gonna leave this reading here if it resonated again like subscribe stick around you my dear are a bright shining star and i hope you know that okay i hope you know that you're amazing and i hope to see you for a future video and or live session that would be awesome bye for now